This is a quick tutorial on how to play that tune, which is called Nancy. It's um, it's an English tune, I believe, from the northeast of England, like Northumbria way. I'm playing it in D tuning on the banjo. So the banjo is tuned like this, A, B, A, B, and then an E at the top. So it's, it's like the C tuning, which would be G, C, G, C, D, capoed at the second fret and a fifth string tuned up tone from T to A. I'm playing a short scale banjo, so I've just tuned my banjo up to the key of D. And don't be fooled for that, hopefully it's not too confusing for you. I'm going to break this tune down quickly into steps and then you'll be able to play it. Um, it starts out with a triplet. So we do this triplet by doing two hammer-ons on the same string. So we knock the third string open we bring our fingers onto the second and then the fourth fret. That's all part of one knock and it's a tackety tackety. So it's a triplet. Normally we're playing boom, tagger, boom, tagger, boom, tagger, boom, tagger in a lot of pluama. So we either have quarter note beats, boom, or eighth notes, tagger, boom, tagger, boom, tagger. Triplet is when we take one of those quarter note beats and we split it into three. So you get tackety. So it'd be like one, two, three. Tackety boom, tagger boom, tagger boom, tagger boom. Tackety boom, tagger boom. That's the way this tune is going to kick on. We're going to get that triplet with a double hammer on. So we can try it. One, two, three. I've added on here, we're doing our triplet, then we knock the open second string down to the fourth, then a hammer on. One, two, three. phrase. So on this phrase we're going to play open second, it'll pull off, and we can either play or we can do a brush. can't remember which way I did it, when I recorded the start. That's how it goes. So um, we're going to knock second, pull off second, brush, one, two, three, four. So stop the video, repeat that as much as you need to to get knock, pull off, knock, brush again. Then let's try putting that together with our triplet. And our triplet is coming in on the upbeat, beat four, so like one, two, three, triplet, one. start on the second string. This is kind of, it's quite a melodic phrase. This You could say this is a melodic style of claw hammer, which is an approach to claw hammer where you try to play more kind of single string notes to play the full melody like the fiddle would play rather than just kind of backing up the tune, which is kind of a nice thing to do, especially if you're playing the banjo by yourself, um, which I guess many of us are now we're locked in our houses by ourselves or with family or friends. So um, during the lockdown, I'm not inferring that people are locked in their houses for any other reason. Anyway, so we've got the second string. So the new bit we're going 
from is this knock hammer and then we're going to make this shape this is the third and the fourth frets of the third fret on the first string fourth fret on the second string um, this is quite a useful shape in this case I'd advise you to make it with your middle finger and your ring finger so we can do it without moving the left hand so we're going to go and then we're going to drop thumb three and four then the same strings drop thumbed open so we go once more then we're going to do a little pull off so that's a pull off the fourth fret of the third string a little slide so it's going to go question and answer form so it's going to go first line a second line b repeat line a line c to end it that's going to be structure of the first part so one two three sometimes changing whether I'm playing melodies or bits of brushes uh, it's kind of when I'm playing it slow I'm really hearing the tune in my head when I'm playing it fast sometimes I might not play every note of the tune put some brushes in just to keep the drive so um, hopefully you stick pick up the melody and feel free to play it your own way it's kind of good for the band to be played in your own way second part of the A part starts out with a triplet starts out exactly the same way one two three <laughs> make this chord it's called four if you're used to playing the C tuning you might think of this as an F shape it's called four F is the fourth note of the key of C now we're in D it's still called four and the fourth note of the key of D is G so we play this chord open second fret open third fret third string so chord four pull off drop down chord four pull off drop down third second one two three Sure on that um, take advantage of the fact this is a video 
and rewind it and you can laugh at all the jokes a second time through as you watch a second time but you can also go through the parts and get them down like use the fact it's a youtube video like it's not the same as um doing a lesson in real life or even over zoom which i'm available for if anyone wants but um uh it doesn't mean you can rewind and you can go over stuff as much as you want to take your time on it let's go through the second part quickly now and then you should have the whole tune you can go away and play it um and as soon as they're gigs go do some gigs so uh the second part starts out up here Frets four and five. And this frets fourth fret of the second string, fifth fret of the first string, is actually a part of your chord one. There's a D chord there, chord one, which is also part chord one. So it's worth bearing that in mind. I'm going to play. We play this string. And then we reach up. You can do just you can do it without drop thumbs like this. That's the main important bit of melody. Do da de de de. But you can also put in some drop thumbs. Your choice. Put in rhythmic variations how you want. I'll put some drop thumbs in. Then we slide it down two frets and we do exactly the same thing. Which is quite nice. So we're up here at five and four. Three and two. So, and then we play this descending phrase, which is here, in chord one shape, D shape. We make three and four for this melodic drop thumb line. So we go up from five and four. We'll reach. Same thing down here. Chord one. Drop thumb down. Then the great news is in the B part of the interlude, you feel this. Which you might recognise is the second part of the A part bit that's got the resolve. Let's try play the B part. Up at five and four. Three and two. Chord one. Triple. Chord four.
Okay, Nancy, um, if this video was helpful to you, please, please do hit the like button and um, please do subscribe to my channel because um, it all helps uh, this video um, reach other people. There's some people learning the banjo from in other parts of the world that aren't London who found these videos, which is nice. And if you found it useful, help it reach other people by doing like and subscribe. Um, check out my website. I think there's a mailing list there now. I tried to sort that out. I haven't ever used it, but you can sign up to it and get no emails. <laughs> That's the end of this lesson. Um, stay well. Uh, take care. Bye.